I got ta -ta -da, my wrist number. So exciting, but at the same time, so stressful. I don't know if I can get through this without music. It feels weird to get packing again. It completely changes my expectations for this race. Ben surprised me. I hope we're gonna make it to France actually. And welcome back to my channel welcome to a new weekly vlog so as you saw I just treated myself to a nice little breakfast at my favorite coffee shop in Chester uh, and earlier today I did my last interval session before my half marathon race but uh, yeah I thought I'd vlog this week because it's a little bit full on I've got my half marathon race this weekend so I'm basically in my taper week uh, we are also getting ready to move and on sunday after my race actually we are flying to france to go visit my family sorry i got a bit distracted because people could see me vlog and it always makes me a bit nervous but anyway it's a bit of a full-on week with like preparing for the race the taper trying to not be too stressed um, organizing the travel to France and also organizing the move and all the admin that comes with it on top of like the usual work and life and everything so yeah welcome to a new vlog Ben is home almost all this week you're not committing to London this week so it's a bit of an easier week for you at least oui. but yeah in a few days we'll be going to France and then someone's gonna have to speak French again oui. <laughs> Right, I will leave you alone. Leave you to it. Merci. You know the move is getting real when you order a pack of large moving boxes. Because yeah, we are gonna need to start packing very very soon. The next few weeks are gonna be hectic. So like all next week pretty much we're in France and then the week after is the week we are actually hoping to move but Pretty much nothing is packed. All I packed was like a little box of all the beauty stuff I know I'm not going to need, uh, which is very little. Basically, we have the whole place to pack. Also, something else arrived in the post and I'm really excited. I got ta -ta -da, my wrist number and the chip to put on my shoe for the race on Sunday. So let's talk about the taper a little bit. So obviously not much running this week and not even a lot of resistance training. So yesterday I did an easy, was it 8K? Yeah, an easy 8K and oh, it was so windy, it was ridiculous. The first 4K I had the wind blowing up my face. It was just like horrible. I don't think I've run in like such a strong wind like this. So yeah, I had to film a little bit of it. And this morning I did my very last interval session before the race. So far, that's what I did. Also yesterday I did a short home workout, maybe like 25 minutes on the upper body. Um, I have two runs left before the race and probably just one gym session. So yeah, that's where I'm at. It is now Wednesday morning. And I'm starting my day with a 5k walk along the canal. Uh, it is a bit of a fresh morning, it's like 4 degrees, but it's actually not too bad, I'm not feeling too cold. Um, so yeah, on this taper week I'm running way less than usual, obviously that's the point. I'm not running today, but I also don't want my legs to like get too sleepy, if you know what I mean. Uh, the point of the taper is to rest your legs, but you don't want them to feel like lethargic when comes rest day. So yeah, I'm just trying to keep moving, but not overdo it, basically. I don't know why I thought this week would be a great week to vlog, because I feel like all I'm doing besides work is admin stuff. Admin for the move, admin for the trip to France. Um, so yeah, but hopefully as the week goes on and we get closer to the race, I can feel more interesting stuff. All I have left to do on the travel admin side is print the forms that we need to enter France and then for the move obviously it's not complete we're still doing the reference check and I'm literally checking on the laptop every half an hour to see how it's progressing and it seems like we're almost done with the referencing check and everything but 
I really want to get excited. Like this is so exciting, but at the same time, so stressful. And I don't want to get ahead of myself. And I don't want to like say too much before it's actually officially complete, before we have signed the contract, before we have a moving date and all of that. But oh, I am excited for what's to come if it doesn't obviously fall through. That is basically my life this week. It's a lot of admin and not a lot of running really. Oh my God, also talking about the referencing process and everything. Because obviously I'm French and since Brexit, don't get me started on Brexit, okay? So earlier this year, I had to apply for the pre-settlement status or whatever they call it. Uh, I, I don't think I have been in the UK for long enough to apply for the settlement status. Um, so anyway, I've got the pre-settled one now. And basically, when we started the application process for the flat, I was actually asked to prove that I had this status and that I actually had the right to be in the UK, which felt so weird, but I guess I have to be used to it now that Brexit is in place. Good morning. It is now Thursday. It's about 9 a.m. I am getting ready to go on a run, just an easy 8k. Um, earlier today I went to the gym. I'm not training lower body at this point. I'm just giving my legs some rest in terms of resistance training, but I did a nice little upper body and ab workout and now just this easy run. I'm wearing my Under Armour shoes today. They are the Mega 2 clone. I love how they feel on my easy runs. You may have seen them quite a bit on my Instagram recently because I've been working with sports shoes um, around content for these shoes. And it was my very first pair of Under Armour shoes. I didn't really know what to expect. And I am pleasantly surprised and I've been using them quite a lot on my easy runs recently. Right, this is not a great ponytail, but you know what? It will do for the run. Now I need my earphones. You know what? I was thinking for my past two races, which were 10k races, I didn't use my earphones. And during my training, I was making myself at least twice a week run without music to get used to it. But I don't know if I can get through this without music for a 21k run. I know they strongly advise against having your earphones on the race because you're meant to be able to hear the marshals and your surroundings and everything, which I totally understand, but I honestly don't think I can do such a long run without music. So I'll, I think I'll bring my earphones. I'll probably only turn one on uh, and I'll put the music really low so I can hear what's going on but I think I need that bit in my ears otherwise uh, yeah I don't know. I'm glad I checked the weather before going outside because it's sunny I assumed it was going to be warm. It's five degrees only five degrees so I need an extra layer. I popped on this little windbreaker and then I should be fine. Right let's do this. sweat on at the end as I was doing strides just after finishing the 8k but yeah I was really glad to have my windbreaker for the first like three four k's and then I got a bit warm so like I took it off tied it around my waist but yeah that's the third run done and this is what I've been doing I've been trying to start packing a little bit at least the stuff that I know we won't need in the next few weeks because if we actually move the week after we come back from France, oh, let me tell you, nothing, nothing is ready. It's going to be a hell of a week. So I don't know. I'm just trying to do what I can to make it easier if possible. I'm so glad I've been keeping boxes that I received from like parcels and stuff because it means I can start packing, putting stuff away and we can keep the big boxes that we've ordered for the move for when we get closer to the date and when it's time to pack absolutely everything. It feels weird to get packing again. Exciting as well. So today is Friday. It is 8.03 a.m. to be precise. I have been on the walk this morning, just a nice 4k walk, no running, no resistance training today. 
and I've just made myself some breakfast. So I've got my bowl of fruit with apple chunks, a little bit of soy yogurt, vanilla flour drops, cinnamon, and yeah, I think that's it. So yesterday I checked the weather forecast for Sunday for the race and oh, it's gonna be windy. So far the forecast is saying wind at 17 miles per hour, which is I think slightly worse than the wind we had on Monday when I did my run and I filmed that footage and it was blowing up my face. It completely changes my expectations for this race. I said on Instagram that I'm not going in with a goal time and that is still true. I don't really have a goal time in mind, but considering that the two half marathons I did in my training, I completed them in one hour 45 and a few seconds. I was hoping for the race to finish under one hour 45. So just do slightly better. Even if it's like one hour 44 and 40 seconds, I would be happy with it. But with this wind, I don't know if it's going to be possible. Knowing that, I have to lower my expectations for this race and <laughs> probably hope to finish under 1 hour 50, if I'm honest. So today is Saturday, the day before the race. In 24 hours, I will have just started running. So I'm fresh out the shower. As you can see, I'm just doing a little bit of skincare now. So earlier today, I did my very last run, um, 6K run. I wore the shoes that I'm gonna wear tomorrow. Also, you may have noticed that I've got a new watch. It's the Garmin 745, it arrived yesterday. Ben surprised me. Basically, it's on sale at the moment. So I mentioned that I was going to get it at some point, but I was actually in a rush because the sale is until December. Ben beat me to it and he got it for me. I'm really happy actually to have it for this race because with my old watch, I couldn't download the music on the watch. So if I wanted to have music, I would have needed to carry my phone with me. With this one, I've got the music downloaded in here, so I don't need my phone, and I mean, it is a bit of a nicer watch. So I was able to set it and try it on my run this morning, get used to like where everything is, all the buttons and everything. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So tomorrow morning the race, and tomorrow afternoon we are flying to France. Well, I hope we're going to make it to France, actually, because I <laughs> realized like two days ago that actually we are landing at the Euro airport, which is basically half French and half Swiss. So we followed the French rules, but what if we actually have to follow the Swiss rules? On the website, they say that unless you're a Swiss resident, then you need to follow the French rules, which will be fine. But if it's actually not the case, then we're absolutely screwed because we don't have anything that complies with the Switzerland policies. So yeah, uh, if in the next vlog you don't see me in France, then it means that something has gone wrong. <laughs> so what's left to do really today is finish packing for France. Oh, I need to decide on my race outfit, but I think I'll actually decide last minute tomorrow based on the weather. Um, eat carbs, do a good stretching session, put my feet up, and most importantly, relax, de-stress, and just trust that everything's gonna go to plan tomorrow from the race to actually going to France. I don't think I'm gonna vlog anything else today, so I'm gonna close this video here. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you to anyone who leaves a like, even leaves a comment, subscribes, honestly. Thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If everything goes to plan, the next ones will be the race day vlog and then the vlog in France. So yeah, I hope to see you in the next ones. Bye!